Reading lucid dreaming stories, let's get into it. I was now looking at the wall of my bedroom. So I was asleep on my side as usual and something was very wrong. It didn't feel like as, as though I could move. My vision was only partially there. I could only hear sounds as if I was underwater. I managed to get up and walk around and I realized I could only see my surroundings through a very thin window or a slither in my field of view. The rest was completely obscured by this weird gray light. I can't describe how distressing this was. What happened next was, well, I'll get into that. So basically that was a clip of a lucid dreaming story. I want to talk about various lucid dreaming stories because lucid dreaming is not all fun and games. It can be scary. You can have lucid nightmares. The experiences can be weird, unpredictable. And I don't want to paint this vision that it's just all sunshine and rainbow. So in this video, I'm going to go through and read out various lucid dreaming stories. I found myself in a bluish white space, featureless, boundless, and complete perspectiveless. 360 degrees of horizon and vision in all directions, but also constrained. So it felt like it was indoors. The floor was made of glass tiles squares and diamonds and beneath it was intensely blue water it was visible and there was blue sky above the sky felt more like a roof vaguely dome shaped distant and a he describes it as a terminus in my vicinity some kind of surrealist yoga class was in session with an audience all participants were dressed in kimonos or various like things that looked like kimonos three there were three instructors a man a woman and a young boy standing on circular platforms and a sign informed me that it just cost 10 euros to join the class i'm going to skip past this to get to the more interesting parts now they look above them above themselves and they see that there's a huge murmuration of birds in motion the same telepathy the same intelligence directing each individual part so each individual bird was acting like a member of a bigger community so they were acting in synchronization very much when i saw this i realized it's a dream so i basically said to the woman as she was performing the yoga stretches that i'd figured everything out and i expected her to be impressed but she didn't really care she just said whatever so the excitement of all these unlimited possibilities came over me and i thought i realized when i became lucid that i was unconstrained by the laws of the universe so I thought I'd do something crazy or impossible. Now, my impulse was basically to do some kind of special effect, something that would be impossible in waking life. And so I basically acted purely on impulse. I saw the blue sky above and I spread my arms dramatically and fell forwards onto the floor into the reflection of the sky. So the idea was to make the reflection real as I entered it. So imagine like you're looking down at the floor, you see a bunch of, you see a pool of water reflecting the sky. And instead of trying to fly into the sky, you fall forward into the water with your arms outstretched. So it's like you're, ha you're hacking the dream, basically. Very cool idea. So it was basically a, a, a form of teleportation. As I did this, I became aware of my brain trying to resist this. So trying to like pull you back into the real dream. But I forced it. So my perspective went, my perspective went like this in quasi discrete jumps, floor, then sky. And this kept on shifting between the two and it reached a crescendo eventually. It felt really powerful, satisfying, and even erotic, they say. The reality of the dream glossed over and then there was a complete silence. Now I was looking at the wall of my bedroom. I was asleep on my side, but something was very wrong. I didn't feel as though I could move. My vision was only partially there. I could only see ugly walls and floors of bare concrete. So my intuition said this is the multiplex or the multiverse nature of reality. Different realities tessellated in a honeycomb pattern and infinite corridors of altered perspective, dizzying patterns spreading out in every direction. Some of them are blank or timeless, spaceless, and devoid of anything and everything. I had journeyed from one facet of the metastructure to another, and I consciously interfered with the return algorithm, the organic intelligence that he sensed. And I'd been marooned forever in one of these empty worlds, unable to leave. This is pretty interesting because that talks about time dilation, which I've, that's very trippy when that happens. Needless to say, this was very distressing. I'm going to read out more of these stories and I'm actually going to ask you in the comments now to scroll down and share your best lucid dreaming story. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start maybe every week or every other week reading them out in videos and turning them into a little story and, you know, that'll be on the podcast and everything like that. So leave a comment down below. If you want to learn how to lucid dream, go and check out my breakthrough training, which the link is in the description.